Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how I created this gorgeous marble top desk for only $7. You can incorporate the same process onto any flat surface that you have or counter, but today I'm going to be showing you how I did it on a desk. So let's just go ahead and get started. The first thing that you're going to need is some contact paper. I purchased this marble contact paper from Amazon and I will link it down below for you. You're also going to need a pair of scissors or an X-Acto knife and as well as a flat book or a flat surface that you can use to smooth out any bubbles once we start the application process. Now what you're going to want to do before we begin is to clear off your desk of all items that you have. We're going to just want a clean slate to work with. Once your desk has been cleared off, we're going to take a multi-surface cleaner, spray it all over our desk, and clean up any sort of dirt, any debris, any makeup, and also just any dust. To begin, we're going to start by lining up the contact paper along horizontally from the desk. Now what happened is that I realized I did not have enough paper to do it horizontally, so I had to backtrack and do it vertically. After you lined it up vertically, you're going to just want to mark off where you're going to be cutting. And now as you see here, I'm just cutting along the line that I've marked. Once you've finished cutting the piece, you're going to peel back a piece of the backing and you're going to cut it. You're going to place the exposed corner onto the corner of the desk and just line it up. Once you've placed and smoothed out the corner, you're going to peel back more and more of the backing. Once you flip it back, you're going to just make sure it's still aligned and smooth it out with a book. Once one section is smoothed out, you're going to continue to pull back more and more of the backing and smooth out more and more of the vinyl. Now here I'm taking the book and just smoothing out any sort of air bubbles. I cut off just a little bit extra just because it's better to have more than less and I'm going to smooth it to the back of the desk. Once you finish the first section, this is what it should look like. Moving on to the next section, we're going to align it again, we're going to measure how much we need, and we're going to mark where we're going to make our cut. You're going to want to make sure that the next piece starts where the last one ended. And once again, we're going to peel off the backing in sections just to make sure that there's no air bubbles.
Moving on to the next section, once again, we're going to try to make sure that it starts where the last one ended, and again, we're going to move in small sections. Now after the third section, it did not completely cover the desk, so I just went ahead and cut off a slip of contact paper. Now off camera, I went ahead and cut out the hole in the desk for all the cables and extension cords. All I did was just stick my scissors into it and cut out the outline. The strip that I cut didn't completely cover the rest of the desk, so I just cut out a little box just to fill in what was left over. After smoothing it out, I just cut off the little bit of excess that was left over on the edge. And after that, we are completely done with today's DIY. You can set everything back up onto your desk and arrange it however you'd like. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun filming this and a lot of fun making it. Please let me know in the comments below if you're going to try it. And if you do try it, make sure to send me pictures or tag me in your pictures. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I will see you next time. Bye.